Welcome to Wealthbag Logistics Zimbabwe, your one-stop solution for all your freight forwarding, customs clearance, and warehousing needs. Whether you are importing or exporting goods, we are here to ensure a smooth and efficient process every step of the way. Our freight forwarding services are designed to take the hassle out of shipping your goods. We work with a network of trusted carriers to get your cargo to its destination on time and within budget. From air freight to sea freight, we handle it all with professionalism and care. When it comes to customs clearance, our team of experts will navigate the complex regulations and paperwork to ensure that your goods clear customs without any delays. We have extensive experience working with customs authorities and will ensure that all necessary documentation is in order. In addition to our freight forwarding and customs clearance services, we also offer secure warehousing solutions for your storage needs. Our state-of-the-art facilities are equipped to handle a wide range of goods and are suitable for short-term or long-term storage. At Wealthbag Logistics, we understand the importance of reliable and efficient logistic services for your business. That's why we strive to provide the highest level of service and communication to ensure that your goods reach their destination safely and on time. We look forward to partnering with you and providing the logistics solutions you need to keep your business running smoothly. Contact us today to discuss your freight forwarding, customs clearance, and warehousing needs. sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills, and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino-induced drought together. EcoCash. Live life the EcoCash way. The views expressed by our guests in the following video are solely the opinions of our guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and or opinions of the All A7 Podcast Show. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello Zimbabwe, my name is DJ Ola7 Owen, we are Kwama Donda, the Chief A Marshal. Ola7, yeah of course, it is your number one podcast show in the land, the Ola7 podcast show. And tonight, you know what guys, I'm hosting one of the most, guys, because you're the Chief, the most. <laughs> she's prominent in business, you know, she's also a philanthropist, you know, a media personality, Oh, from a big brother, what, what, oh, guys, it's just, the profile is just big. So, in agenda, you know, the, the introduction, I'll leave it here. Let me just say hi to my one and only sister, Makosi Musambasi. Hello, Ola. <laughs> you know, I'm excited. Look. I'm so excited to be here. And I'm seeing the branded water. Yes, sure. Indeed. I love it. Thank Hydration you. is and everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and that's my sister all the way from Dubai, UAE, United Arab Emirates. And she's here in Zimbabwe. So, you know, um, I know you were born, you know, in Bari. Yes. It uh, did the open man. It did. Yeah. Yes. But it did that. But, you know, and now you are a big brand in africa and beyond tell us how how have you done it so everything starts off as a seed mm. 
and I was born in Edith Openment, somewhere, mm -hmm. neighborhood. So yes. I come from the streets. Yes. Um, I think I've come this far because I'm fearless. Mm -hmm. I I confront life eyeball to eyeball. Mm. Um, I've tried everything I've wanted to mm -hmm. try. Mm -hmm. um, and I put it down to my upbringing. Yeah. My dad always told me that I could be whoever and whatever I mm. wanted to be. Mm. But he just did not specify. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, along the, uh, along the way, yes. I have been whoever mm -hmm. and whatever I yes. wanted to be. And which yes. has been a huge blessing. It is quite interesting. Yeah. So out of curiosity, you know, um, it turns out Makosi. What does Makosi mean? Makosi means queen. Mm -hmm. I'm named after my father's mother. Mm. So um, even when my mother, my father greets me today, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he says, Masura say my. Because you've got the name. I carry his mother's name. Yes, yes. quite interesting. Makosi, yes. a queen. Mm. Wow. So you are 43 years old, but you know, don't look at age. I don't look at, don't I? 43. But you look like a 16 or maybe, <laughs> let, me, let me say 16, <laughs> 16 and 20. <laughs> um, I, think, I think age is just a number uh -huh. and ageism is something that we probably want to stop at. Yes, yes. Uh, today people get married really early because they're told they expire. Mm. But people don't expire. Yeah, true. I think uh, wealth and well to do ness mm -hmm. um, helps keep your shelf life. Mm -hmm. um, so if you work hard at whatever it is that you do in life and you take your vitamins and you drink a lot of water, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you can literally be 60 and look fantastic. Very true. So, what's the secret? Tell us the secret, you know, for looking young like this. Uh, I don't think I look, I actually think I have the soul of a hundred year old, mm. um, but I work out yeah. a lot. I drink a lot of water. I don't drink alcohol anymore. Yeah. I had to stop because I had cancer seven years oh, ago. Yes. Um, and I, I'm just a happy fella. Mm -hmm. I dance a lot. And, yes. you know, they say laughter and joy is the, is an, um, elixir to yes. youth. Mm -hmm. So I think for me, it's, yeah, the working out, the golf, and just surrounding myself with mm -hmm. people who love and care about me and who allow me also to love and care about them. Mm, that's very, very powerful. Guys, just surround yourself with the right people. That's it. You always look young. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So born in Harare in 1980. 80. You, know, you went to school in Harare. Where exactly? I went to school, I went to Belvedere Primary mm -hmm. School. Um, my headmaster's name was Mr. Smith. Yes. And then after Mr. Smith, I can't remember who came. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Queen Elizabeth yes. High School yes. for a term. Mm -hmm. I didn't do well with being a day scholar. Yeah. So my parents couldn't keep me in class. Mm -hmm. Um, so second term, they shipped me off to Mukaro in Gutu. Good. Oh, so I mm. did from one, two, three, four mm -hmm. at Mukaro. Uh -huh. And then I came back to the city to Roosevelt okay. to do my lower six and upper six. In Eastley. Yes. Okay. Just around the corner as well. Wow. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so how was life, uh, life like, you know, growing up? Maybe you can take us through your early age, you know, your life journey there. Uh, as my father's mother, I was always treated as such. My brother is here to testify. Mm -hmm. um, and I could roll quite a lot because mm. I'm Ruby Omwene. Uh -huh. And I'm Ruby Mai. I'm Ruby Mai. You know. <laughs> um, so it was a shock to my system when I went to Kwam Karo, mm -hmm. where like everybody could just beat you, mm. you know. Mm. Um, but I don't look at the beating and shun it because it's kind of made me who yes. I am. Yes. It doesn't matter how much in life we all s go astray. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how much astray I've gone. That mission school upbringing mm -hmm. has kept me together oh. mentally. Mm -hmm. You know, like we used to clean our dormitories mm -hmm. um, when girls were on their monthly cycle mm -hmm. we used to be the ones to take that and burn it so you see a lot mm -hmm. 
and nothing shocks you. Yes. So I, I also put that down to, I, 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 I put credit to that for my cancer survival. Yes. Because even when I had the mastectomy, nothing, listen, if you went to Mukaro mm -hmm. or you went to a mission school, mm -hmm. Nothing in this life phases you. You know my Gen Z now, they, yes. their lives yes. are so, oh, I've got haters, <laughs> and then I'm depressed. <laughs> and go to a mission school yeah. where it's winter like this. Yes. And I had a teacher, a history teacher. Mm -hmm. His name was Mr. Tinaro. I will never forget him. Mm -hmm. By the time he slapped you, <laughs> like you will see stars, you'll see everything, <laughs> and then you'll come back <laughs> to real life. So I think I, I don't condone mm -hmm. um, uh, beating people in schools and yeah. everything. However, that it happened was probably the biggest therapy session for me. Mm, really? So it shaped you somehow. It's shaped, and we went to church every morning. Yeah. Whether you are going to pray or not, mm -hmm. at five thirty you have right. to be in church. Ah. So even if you, some of us, even if you are not focusing on praying, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you are focusing on exactly. that, because exactly. you know you you had people who uh -huh. I when I look back now I I admired them. Yeah. They would be in the choir. Mm -hmm. They would mm -hmm. be serving like yes. the fata yes. and everything. And there were people like me mm. who were like, I'm just going to go because I'm yes. being made to go. Yes. But yes. then you look back now and you think, uh, you, you know, there's a God you can mm -hmm. go back to mm -hmm. because you went to mission school. So were you that um, you know, spoiled child at home? I was. A, what do you mean when you say spoiled? Spo like, look. The school is doing is playing its part here. Yes. Then at home, because you are my, you remember you are exactly. you can be beaten, you can be. Do you understand exactly? Exactly. So yeah. at home, I was a little bit of a princess. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> uh, everybody, even when I tete, mm -hmm. nana bam nini, like I was their egg, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but I needed the balance. Mm -hmm. Pandaka Zenda Commission School. I saw what everybody else sees sometimes oh, at yeah. home, and you know, I think in life. You don't want fire in both. You don't want fire coming out of both yes, places. Yes. Kumbaku kaita a little bit lenient. Let's Kuchko, go. Do something. And then kusko kaita is she. Like, yeah. You need to find pockets in mm -hmm. life yeah. where you meet something and you meet life. Mm. And at home, uh, my parents just made sure that we they gave us everything they could. Mm -hmm. They were not uh, rich people. Yes. My mother worked for Alpha Media. Mm -hmm. She she worked with Trevor Nube. Yes. And my father was a police officer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, we 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 had a roof over our heads. We never we were never thrown out of school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We could have chicken in every weekend. Yes. Just just nice, mm -hmm. but nothing out of this world. Wow. Yeah. That's very powerful. I'm here talking to uh, Marco. Sambasi, and you get to know more about her on this uh, platform. Trust me, you're going to be inspired. You are going to be inspired. Trust me. And I understand, Makosi, you know, you once won Miss Machinal in the East pageant, you know, so you were um, a model also. A beauty queen, yes. <laughs> so that helps as well with uh, having been a beauty queen so young mm -hmm. at 17, you, you want to stay a certain way way because mm. i was on miss zimbabwe yes. as well mm -hmm. so you want to stay a certain way you you eat properly mm -hmm. you i have i wash my face in the morning yes. i wash it at night i don't sleep in my makeup yes. i think i got that from my beauty queen yes oh yeah. i see and also a beta player by the way uh light because uh, i don't know if it's every household mm -hmm. in zimbabwe but i grew around ngoma yes i grew around Ma marimba. marimba so yeah. once in a while i can um i don't know if you people know gen z's mm -hmm. i don't know Magagada. Magagada, yes. once in a while yes. i can gear up okay do you still have those? Uh, yes, of course. Oh. <laughs> I wish I wish I told you and I would have brought oh, you. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, okay. exactly. you yeah, yeah. I, I, it was going to be fun. But yeah. anyways, so moving on, you know, you moved to the UK yeah. uh, in 1999. 1999, yes. Yes. I, I left Zimbabwe 25 years ago. Hey. Today. Today? Yes. Wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. 25 years ago, and I left sitting Zimbabwe right here. today. Ah. Yes. <laughs> So what inspired that move? Um, so, you see, Ola, I've never been that person who wants more than 
enough. Yeah. And I think that's the definition of wealth. Uh -huh. The definition of wealth is not acquiring 20 cars and mm -hmm. 20 houses. Yes. Uh, the definition of wealth is looking at what you have and mm -hmm. thinking, I could get more, but this is enough. Mm -hmm. So my mm -hmm. friends were going to England. Yeah. I remember a girl called Memory Bakali and another one called Lydia, but I can't remember her surname. Mm -hmm. So they went to England and I'm talking to them and they're like, oh, you just apply for nursing mm -hmm. and you can, and then Zimbabweans didn't even need a visa to England. Oh, you just, it was just, you just wake up, you buy your ticket for 200 pounds. As long as you have your, your, your passport. Yeah, as You're long going. as you had your passport. Mm. So I applied for nursing. Yes. I was called in for an interview. Mm -hmm. And on the 11th of June, 1999, I went to the United Kingdom. Wow. So how did you settle for, I mean, uh, settle in the UK right. and also consider that you were, you were young? I was very young. I was uh, turning 18. Yes. Uh, but yeah, as I said to you, mission school prepares you for everything. Yeah. My aunt lived in England, mm -hmm. my Gumbi. I know she's watching. Mm -hmm. um, I went and I lived with her and some of her cousins. Mm -hmm. I remember my first day. I went and the, the guy we were living with was married to a white woman mm -hmm. who had cats in the oh, house. Oh, yes, yeah. Growing up, we, I never interacted with cats. <laughs> so I get to England, I think, hmm, not a big deal. Yeah. When you do get there, it doesn't seem like yes. a big deal. I get there, I'm like, not a big deal. And then I go to sleep. I wake up in the morning. There's a cat in my bed. Mm, and say, what? I'm like... <laughs> Is this going to be my life? I'm <laughs> <the main chain. laughs> telling you. But it was just there staring at me. We mm -hmm. became friends. Yeah. And, the and the rest is history. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so I so, love cats now. Oh, now? Yeah. Do you own one? No, not yet. Okay. I don't own animals. I don't own children. Uh -huh. Why? I, I, I like, you know how I travel a lot? Yeah, yeah. I like just waking up thinking... Okay, Ola has a show on Tuesdays yes. in Harare. Yes. Let me go to Harare. Wow. I just that. lock up and I leave. I like that. So, you know, you attain a nursing, de nursing degree yes. uh, at the University of Luton. Yes. You know, tell me about that journey. You know a lot about me. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to the University of Luton. I became a nurse. My mm. first job was cardiac nursing. Okay. So I worked in cardiology for mm -hmm. two years. And that must also have been one of the best times of my life. Mm. Just going to work. I mean, there was the part where before I became a nurse, mm -hmm. you're a healthcare assistant. Oh, yeah. You're helping people bath. You're cleaning people who can't clean themselves. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And when I look back and when I hear mm -hmm. I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, if you have it in your heart yeah. to look after people, mm -hmm. it can be the greatest honor wow. to look after old people. Like my dad is old now mm -hmm. and my mom is his main carer. Yes. Everybody's going to get old mm. and everybody's going to need somebody to look after Very them. true. So when you go through a journey like that to say you can, you, you're not phased by whatever you see to mm -hmm. clean or mm -hmm. to, I don't want to get graphic. Yes. Um, when I look back, it's the greatest honor any mm. human being. And to be honest, it's not something that you aspire to, mm -hmm. but when you find yourself there, just know that not a lot of people find themselves in those situations. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Everybody born of a woman mm -hmm. is going to have a struggle. Very true. Right? Very true. Sometimes we think we want rich people's struggles. Mm -hmm. But Ola, I swear to God, if we went to church, you and me today, Taka mm -hmm. Church, consignora your problem on a paper mm -hmm. and you write your problem yes. and you throw it at the altar. Yeah. Yes. And you pick it and you open it. You'll be like, please. <laughs> because everybody, yeah. rich or poor, has problems. Mm. So when you become a solution to somebody's problem, yeah. it's a blessing for you mm -hmm. because one day you know, yes, when you sow a seed of solution, yes. somebody's going to be a solution to your problem. That's very, very powerful. So it seems like uh, you know, nursing in the UK is a well-paying job. 
It pays the bills, mm -hmm. um, but it can be hectic mm -hmm. because sometimes I'll be like 12, uh, 7 to 7, so mm -hmm. 12 hours. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, on your feet. Mm -hmm. It can be so hectic, but mm -hmm. I think money that you work hard for is always much better than money you compromise for. very true yeah you can say that again so yeah. later on you know you you went uh for a diploma in journalism yes um from emdi in that's dubai. in dubai yes. yeah in yes. dubai first of all when and why did uh -huh. you move from the uk to the uae oh the <sighs> The journey from the UK to the UAE was a circle. Mm -hmm. So I lived in England. I was a nurse. I was on a visa, mm -hmm. a nursing visa. Yeah. And then I decided to do a show called Big Brother. Yes. Which means I lost my visa. Oh, yeah. And then I left England. Mm -hmm. Tried to go back. Actually, I'm trying to remember if I claimed asylum. I probably did. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, not, I'm not too sure. Mm -hmm. So I go back to England, I don't have a visa anymore. So Makusi, mm. you can't, we can't, as famous as you are, we cannot let you in because you being famous is actually your detriment. Hey. Because people will use your case exactly. as a law of hey, Christ. I see, I see. So I came back to Africa and I stayed in Africa for quite some time. Mm -hmm. You in Zimbabwe? No, not in Zimbabwe. Okay. I stayed in Africa for quite some time mm -hmm. And then I, I was going in and out of Dubai. Yeah. I didn't live there. Mm -hmm. And then I had cancer. Oh, yeah. So, but for cancer treatment, I needed to be around my family. Mm -hmm. So the closest I could be was South Africa. Okay. So my mom came, my dad came, everybody flew in mm. and they all looked after me. Yeah. And then post-cancer, I needed to recover. Like from the world, I needed to know who I was again. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. cancer took my breasts. Yes. I had a mastectomy. Oh, yeah. I had uh, chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes when you get so sick and you think you're going to die mm -hmm. and you don't die, yeah, you don't know what to do with your life afterwards. Very true. Very true. Because you thought you were going to die. Mm. So you thought that was the end. I thought that was the end. Hey, and I, here, here you are. Here I am. I planned my Glowing. funeral. <laughs> I planned my funeral. I... Oh. Yeah, that was deep, man. So you think you're going to die, mm -hmm. and then you don't die. And then initially you're asking God, why am I still here? Mm. Because your life truly changes. Yeah. Your appetite for certain things, you lose it. Mm. You don't want to be... You have se When you have seen death at that proximity... Mm. There are certain things that cease to matter. True. So you start wondering, how do I do this life again? So post cancer, they actually offer you a therapist. Mm -hmm. But I didn't, I didn't want therapy. So I decided I'll go to Dubai. Mm. What am I going to do in Dubai? Let me find something to study. Let me find something to do that will mm -hmm. make me forget yes. about yes. cancer. Yes. And then I found journalism mm -hmm. in Dubai. And I loved it. I absolutely enjoyed it. But I didn't want to practice as a journalist mm -hmm. because of what I went through with the journalists during Big Brother. Oh. I didn't trust them. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, when I went in, I thought I want to change the narrative of oh, how yes. stories yes. are reported. Yes. But sometimes when you go into the mud with the pig, mm -hmm. you are going to get dirty. Very true. So I did my journalism for a year. And then I looked into life coaching. Mm. How I looked into life coaching, I got a life coach. And as he coached me, I thought this is something I could actually, mm -hmm. I could actually channel. Because life without purpose is not life. Very true. People turn to drugs and they turn to alcohol mm -hmm. and they turn to sex mm -hmm. because they don't see the purpose of mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Because you know sex and drugs and alcohol, must, same was like this. Yeah, same same WhatsApp group. group yeah, right? yeah. You might not be taking coke, but mm -hmm. if you're ad addicted to sex, yes. it's same WhatsApp group. Same WhatsApp group, true. Um, so sometimes when life is not purpose-driven, you find yourself in places that you don't want to find yourself mm. in. So um, I was just seeking a purpose-driven life, and now I'm a life coach. 
Wow, this is that's powerful. Like I said earlier, guys, you're going to be inspired. <laughs> this is an inspiring interview. Trust me. Um, yeah, I'm also learning. You know, I'm following. You know, her journey, her story, quite inspiring. Wow, my sister, you rose. You know, uh, to fame. Uh, in 2005, right, and um, when you became the first African to participate, uh, first African to, uh, African to participate in, at the Big Brother, like you said earlier, right. you know, reality show, when you contested as a housemaid in the Big Brother Six UK, absolutely, yes. But then we did not have, you know, as much access, you know, to Western programming. Uh, thank you, Jesus, uh, like we do now. <laughs> 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 but I want to know thank why? God. Why did you become, you know, a participant of Big Brother season six? Was it deliberate, you know, uh, step to gain fame? Not really. Uh -huh. I, I, I think, uh, like, we need to understand something. I've kind of always been famous. Yeah, yeah. I was a model at 17. Mm -hmm. There were no newspapers. There was no internet. Mm. But when you got into a place, they knew that this, that's Miss Washi. Exactly. That's this person. Mm -hmm. So for me, it wasn't even looking for fame. Mm -hmm. I got a little bit tired with my job mm -hmm. because I was 20, I must have been 25. And I was going to work seven to seven. Mm -hmm. And there was a price money of 100,000 pounds. Wow. And because I've always believed I can do anything and mm. I can get anything. I was like, if I go and get that hundred thousand pounds. <laughs> You're not doing the budgets. <laughs> let me see. Exactly. I did the math. If I yeah. go on to this program, because I watched it yeah. for a couple of episodes. Uh -huh. I was like, if I go on this program, <laughs> I can I can nail it. Exactly. You know? Yeah. So I looked at uh, the auditions that uh -huh. were available uh -huh. when I wasn't working and the one that was available was in um, Birmingham. Mm -hmm. And this, <laughs> this is what, the, the controversy is not me doing Big Brother yes. or what I did on Big Brother. Uh -huh. The controversy is, do you know who laid hands on me before I went into Big Brother? Who's that? Prophet Andrew Wutanashe. Really? Hands on me and said, potato, because he calls me potato. Oh, yes. He's like, potato, go and represent Jesus. Wow. Did I represent Jesus? No. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but even when I, look, when I look back on the journey mm -hmm. of television, and I look back at the moment Prophet Andrew Tarnashe played yeah. for me, yeah. I see how that was still part of my journey, and mm. that was my purpose. Wow. Because if you look at Jonah, Jonah was on his way somewhere. Yes, yes. But um, he ended up somewhere. <laughs> Him ended ending up on a boat mm -hmm. in uh, in the mouth of a fish mm -hmm. does not deter from the fact that the journey had to go that way. Yes. So when I look back at it, you know, people have asked me for ten years. I think post Big Brother, people have asked me, "Do you regret doing it?" And my answer was yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I regretted going on national television for at least 10 years why i i won't i won't i could have had cancer because of the stress mm -hmm. that came out oh, of big brother yeah um but when i look back now post cancer mm -hmm. i'm like that was a journey i was supposed mm. to take mm. again no, it will never happen again <laughs> definitely not but when it happened i was meant to take it because if i hadn't taken it mm -hmm. i wouldn't be here today oh Ah, uh, that's that's quite something else. But we'll get de uh, we're about to go deeper. Let's swim. <laughs> Let's swim. I, hey, like, I, I like that. Here's your life jacket. <laughs> I like that. I wear my life jackets. <laughs> <laughs> so what positive did you get you know, uh, from your stay in the Big Brother house? So outside the fact that I gained popularity, mm -hmm. Um, when I walk into places, people are like, Hasma Kusiru. Mm -hmm. Hasma yes. Kusiru. Mm -hmm. So I gained popularity. Mm -hmm. Now, whatever I do with my voice, people will be like, but Makosi said. Yes. Right? Yes. There are so many people who started playing golf because Makosi because plays Mako golf. Yeah, exactly. There are people who now, when they're going through cancer, if I show mm. you my, my mm. emails, mm. people who are going through cancer, they look at my story. Yes. And they're like, if she made it, I can make it. Sure. So it gave me a voice. And I'm using it now. Mm. You're now a role model. Oh. Ah, role model, apa. I'm going to use voice for it. I don't think so. Why? Because I think your role model in life should be your ideal self. Mm. You should look up to you. Mm -hmm. 
Kuti, am I the best version of me, right? Because if you look up to me, it's not fair. At Nagpo are the same cards. Yes. Some people come from a single mm -hmm. parents' mm -hmm. home. Some people come from um, orphanages. Some people... So if you now look at somebody who doesn't have your set, your tool set, yes. or your software, because yes. we are all like computers, mm -hmm. right? If you look at somebody who doesn't have your software and you look up to them, it is always going to look like an uphill climb that you can't achieve. Yes. But if you look up to you mm -hmm. and you say, God, I want to be the best version of me. Yes. You're not going to be frustrated. Mm. Mm. Because on my way here, I was stuck in traffic. Yes. My brother drives a fantastic, interesting mm -hmm. car that he can go pin down potholes. So exactly. Yeah, but jibba, jibba. Ah, at his okay. <laughs> exactly. Do you understand? <laughs> exactly. But because I look up to me, mm -hmm. I didn't think I want to be in a Range Rover. Wow. I didn't think I want to be in a Merc. Mm -hmm. I knew I'm exactly where... I should be right now. And I said to my brother, um, we might be late, but let me go and say hello to Allah. Exactly. Let me just say hello, hello. to him. And That's good. this can always happen another yes. time. Yes. Maybe the interview was not meant to happen today. Right now. Yes. But if it's going to happen, it will happen another. Yes. So when you look up to you, mm -hmm. Hakuna, when there's no one to compare yourself to, yes. there's zero frustration. Very true. Wow. Zero frustration. I'm learning. Right now, today people go and do you know, it's BBL, yeah, Kim Kardashian. Yeah, exactly. Because they saw Kim Kardashian and they <laughs> looked up to Kim exactly. Kardashian. People whose body shapes naturally, mm -hmm. Van Rick Sadak. Yeah. Taka, <laughs> Attack it was not our shoulders exactly. that gave our, prob our parents problems. Yes. Yeah. It was this. But, they, but because of, you're looking up to someone mm -hmm. who has bought what you were born with. Yes. Oh, yes. Now right? I see. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's very important for you to be your role model, not anybody else. Mm. Last, last, I mean, a few weeks ago, I had, uh, I hosted uh, Dr. Maponga here on this show. He was now telling us about, you know, women trying to put fake, you know, figures, what, what, what. Then, you know, listen, guys, when other women are talking, this point, And Kim Kardashian, I don't want to wow. I don't know by our food. My <laughs> guy, do you understand? <laughs> and the thing is, to be very honest, like they, they, there is nothing wrong mm -hmm. if you feel that's what you want to do. Yeah. And you feel it will make you look nice. Yes. Fantastic. But mm -hmm. what I've learned about uh human beings and human connection it's never about how you look mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's always about sometimes it's about purpose mm -hmm. and sometimes it's trauma bonding yes you are trying to uh heal a certain trauma mm -hmm. uh, and we are always attracted to what's familiar mm. so if you grew up in a household where there was violence you're going to be attracted to violence. To violence. You're not going to realize, Kuti, what's attracting me to this violence is because that's the household mm -hmm. I grew up with. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you will think, Kuti, oh, he, he, he drives a great car. Mm -hmm. He lives in Borodell. And then you get to Borodell mm -hmm. in that great car. Yeah. And then his trauma mm -hmm. starts manifesting. Yeah. After, you know, I've met a guy yeah. who said to me he wanted to pay for my BBR. Oh. I said, my guy. Why do you want to pay for your own? Exactly. Why do you want to pay for mine? Mm, mm. Any man who says to you, get surgery, mm -hmm. he's already saying you are not enough. enough. Just go and look for who's enough. Simple. Right? Simple. So if you're doing it for yourself, ladies, and what, and I, I want to, I'm going to look into this camera. Mm -hmm. If you're going to go and do surgery and it's for you, it heals something in you. It serves a purpose for you and for your world. Knock yourself out. Mm. No, it's judgment free zone. Nobody cares what you look like when you're naked. But if you're doing it for a man, a majority of women who have done that surgery have broken up with that man. Mm -hmm. After you break up with him, what do you do with the, that you put in yourself? Mm. So anytime you go into a relationship, think about yourself. Not the other person. Mm -hmm. And people love us the way we love ourselves. So if somebody sees you and they think you think you are not enough, mm -hmm. that's exactly how they're going to treat you. Powerful. So profound. Ah. 
Still on the big brother, my question. Okay. <laughs> Let's was, go swimming. Uh, yes. How was it, you know, uh, being on a reality uh, show? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, what is the reality of being on it? Uh, because, you know, some of us, I know it's all scripted, you know. It's, okay, it's not scripted. But when they pick the characters, mm -hmm. they pick people who they know are going to play certain roles. Okay. I don't know how it happens in Africa, mm -hmm. but when we did our audition, you'd even be auditioned by psychologist. Mm. A psychologist. Wow. Like you'll do the first audition, mm -hmm. second audition, and then one day you'll sit in front of a psychologist. Mm. Why? Because they want to figure out how far you will go. Mm. So they're not going to script it and say, oh, Makosi, we now want you to go and do yes. this. No, 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 yeah. no. Yeah. They know to say this role that we are picking, mm -hmm. Because it's a lot of money, or like yes, it's not. Has my own boy, Endemol in England yeah. used a lot of money to create that program. Yeah. So they are not just picking people because this one is black mm -hmm. or this one is cute. Yes, or, no, no. Yes. They have seen the thirteen housemates, and they've thought, "Can I shida shida kwapa na bando upa chati shida kwapa." Yes. Can I shida mumu kanzenza? They come to chati shida kanzenza. You know, so <laughs> so they look at they, they the, when they are auditioning, they look at who can play what, mm. and then they put you in the pot, mm -hmm. and then naturally you are going to play what they thought you were going to play. Yo. Yeah, because of my psychology. I think I will start that. Of course, I'll, very I'll, I'll, smart I'll people. Like, after studying my NLP, mm -hmm. right, that which makes me a life coach, yes. I can see exactly why I was picked. Mm -hmm. Exactly why, why I was why? picked. Because outside the fact that I'm ADHD, mm -hmm. I'm also easily excitable. And I'm a people, people. See, like, ah, no, so true. Exactly. Exactly. You understand? Yeah. We, are, um, we, can, we can push her yes. this way. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I, when I look back now, I can see how they pick particular characters. Mm -hmm. They pick particular, because everybody's a character. Mm. You watching at home, you're a character. Yes. They pick particular people. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then they create a show that keeps you hooked for three months. Wow, that's yeah. interesting. And uh, you know, on the show, you made it to the finals, you know, and looking right. out to Anthony. Yes. Um, you know, were there any financial benefits of you know coming uh, in third place? Well, I didn't get money from Endemo, but I, every time I did interviews in the United Kingdom, I would pay something like twenty-five thousand pounds, and that wow. was a lot of money. Twenty-five thousand pounds. In 2006, Jeez. I could do interviews for 25,000 pounds. I could do interviews for, I think my highest was 35,000 pounds. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Just to be on the TV show. No, like whilst they're doing the interview, the interview. of you having been on the TV show. Oh, okay. Okay. So I should have some newspaper. Uh -huh. This is what you're offering you. Uh, Would you do, you do a photo shoot, you do this, you wow. do that. Wow. Yeah. So you made money out of that So thing. yeah, financially I did make mm. a lot. Let's just take a short break. I'm here talking to Marco Simpson. But see, you know, I, I just love her character. You know, I, I'm also <laughs> learning. <you know? laughs> it's a different interview altogether because it's just like, okay, we are talking. At the same time, she's just opening up and also teaching you one or two things. Stay tuned. This is very interesting. <laughs> Every dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino induced drought together. EcoCash, live life the EcoCash way.
Welcome to your favorite show, On The Spot. I'm talking to Makosin Sabasi. My name is DJ Ola7. And, you know, earlier on, my sister, we were talking about, you know, the big brother thing. Right. So, speaking of Anthony, you know, Hutton, um, you got frisky with him <laughs> <laughs> in the hot tub. Wow. What? Okay. What's the... <laughs> what was that uh, all about? Okay. Just make me understand. Okay, so, uh, Anthony... <sighs> Let me let, let me let me summarize this. Mm. Um, you're on a show that they're giving you alcohol. You're 25 years old. What do you like? We're having a good time. Yeah. And you kind of also at some point forget that there are cameras. Mm -hmm. And then you come out, and as I said to you earlier when we were talking, <laughs> yes. you look back and you're cringing. You're thinking, oh. <laughs> and you know sometimes what shame does to us is shame makes us hide. Mm. But when you turn around and you you truly want to become a better person mm -hmm. and you learn from it and you're 43 yes. and you're talking to a 25-year-old who's mm -hmm. feeling very ashamed mm -hmm. of something they've mm -hmm. done, mm -hmm. you want to say to them, it will all pass as long as you become a better person. Use the shame to fuel you yes. instead of to cripple you. Oh, Powerful. Because when it cripples you, when Ola says, come on my show, mm -hmm. you don't want to go. You say, because mm -hmm. the chefuns go about it's Anthony. About that. Exactly. You know, what yes. about the things that people are not being asked about Kuzimbadza, what they're doing true. every day? Very the people true. who are watching right now exactly. thinking, oh my God, she was a big brother. <laughs> so it yes. they, they, they are doing even worse things. Yes. And nobody's confronting mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. um, so be gracious towards yourself. Yeah. Um, because you can't always expect grace from other people. Mm. They are not Jesus Christ. Mm. So mm. be gracious towards yourself and remove the shame and just do more, become more until you have drowned that incident mm. that happened. Drowning, it doesn't mean it goes away. That's why it still pops up. Yes, right? true. So drowning it is only when it pops out, it doesn't trigger anything mm -hmm. in you. Mm -hmm. You just think, oh my God, I lived quite a life, didn't wow. I? Wow, yeah, you did. And you know what? By that time, didn't he have, did you have uh, a boyfriend? Did I have a boyfriend? When you are that young, are you even... <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, Makasi, no. No, no. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> uh, did I have a boyfriend? I, 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 I can't remember, to mm -hmm. be honest. And I'm not degrading or demeaning yes, the guy. Yeah. But I think sometimes... Boyfriend, I just change your battery. Ola, can I mean, as now, but there are poor maga. Abala, I'm not supposed to remember that person from exactly. 20, from when I was 25. Yes. So me forgetting them mm -hmm. is a healthy brain <laughs> because I can't even remember whether there was a boyfriend or not. Uh -huh. But I can remember that I'm not going to be poor. Ipapo. Yeah. But the reason why I ask that question is mm. as now we consider it, then ka, ka that between you and the boyfriend. Uh, after ka him dati, watching, ola, you know, ka dati ka, in relationship, kachangu gara kachukonze uh -huh. but kadat kana kachukonze rerwa ne muna badera puma. Yes. Do kadat ka unona matira, <laughs> but kadat ka ungoji muna arungo da ungo ita kadat. Exactly. Listen, I just think, <laughs> uno zainon zero ra ye. Yes. Yaka itwa for a reason. Mm -hmm. And I think the reason is when you're in a relationship with a woman, women are portals. Mm -hmm. Can I get deep? Yeah, got it. Women are portals. Only in our bodies, spirit and flesh come together and a child is formed mm -hmm. to be birthed. Yes. So every time a woman is sitting with a man, not doing anything, mm -hmm. you are energetically feeding that man. Mm -hmm. So this business of hey boyfriend yangu is mm -hmm. not Don't stress yourself. If a guy is not serious about marrying you, mm -hmm. he's just taking from you. Stop mm -hmm. that. But he's indeed uh, 50 50. Women are portals. Do you mm -hmm. have a womb? No. Okay. And what 50 50? You mean I'm coming with my energy, mm -hmm. my womb, my feminine energy? Yes. What are you coming with? The deep question. Exactly. No saka can only as a, I've spoken to women and today. Can only girlfriend yako that you really respect. I'm not I'm not cousering materialism, mm -hmm. but once in a while buy her flowers, mm -hmm. buy her airtime. 
Baby Nzara and Druku Badara. Exactly. Usa miri ro kumbi ro Maria Nzara. Usa miri ro kumbi ro Maria Vuz. Exactly. Like baby, what can I give you? Mm. It doesn't mm. have to be anything big because also women are receivers. Wow. You give me a sperm, I turn it into a baby. Mm -hmm. You give me this, like we are reservoirs. Yes. If you are not putting something inside there. <laughs> Someone is going to come and start putting something inside there. So as a man, what's your own game? Do you understand? Yeah. But as a man, even can I ten dollars? Visa can I visa check with me? Yes. Visa can I fifty cents or something and say, baby, I got you this. Mm -hmm. It's it's not the thing that we are receiving. It's the energy. Mm. that you're putting in you are being a man you are providing yes being a provider is not providing cars and houses and there's no mm -hmm. being a provider you're providing a certain a giving energy and men are meant to be generous for god so loved the world that he gave men are always supposed to be giving giving kana usiru kumupa something Pacha ita ingwe mbingi. Inongo suika so ingo no nice. As my baby kuzaka. Chisuka. Do you understand? So basically we're, we're joking about it but uh, in relationships mm -hmm. women naturally in their feminine mm -hmm. are giving you something. Dosa ka baby richiti he who finds a wife mm -hmm. has found a good thing. Good a thing. who he finds a husband. Mm -hmm. Meaning a woman comes with something good. And when you find a good woman that you really like and mm -hmm. you want to marry her, mm -hmm. spoil her. Nice, twice, chichi. Do you understand? Guys, are you learning? Are you are you writing notes? I think you should be having your your notebook right there so that you can take down some notes. Mm -hmm. Okay, my sister, you also featured on some you know lesbian scenes. Tell us more about that. Lesbian scenes. On on the screen. What is a lesbian? Okay. This is now to do with um, you know gender, but so to say, LGBTQ community. I think I think you're making it deeper than it is because there are some men, right, mm -hmm. who have they are male physically, mm -hmm. but they are women energetically. So, mm. <laughs> 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 so I wasn't there, expecting that. Honestly. They, are, they are feminine energetically. So when you say things like uh, "kiss the girl," yeah, people play around with things like mm. that, and it's mm. not it's it's not as deep as we want to make it look. But the important thing is, when you're a man, be a man, mm -hmm. and when you're a woman, be a woman. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to LGBTQ, nothing. I I I don't stand in any chair. Mm -hmm to say sinners go to hell mm -hmm. no but what i do understand about uh relationships mm -hmm. is relationships are run by feminine energy and masculine energy 100%. and sometimes you will be a woman mm -hmm. who has masculine energy mm -hmm. or you will be a man who has feminine energy mm -hmm. so really can i talk on your to lgbtq rst uvw there are some women married to women who look like men mm -hmm. and there are some men married to women there are some men married to men who look like women mm. but generally what's your take on the lgbtq you know practices i don't even have a take on it because mm. i think it's really none of my business yeah. it's what people do in their private Hours mm -hmm. should not be any of anybody's business. Mm -hmm. I don't go condone it. I don't condemn it. Mm -hmm. It is none of my business. 100%. And in life, there should be those things that are none of your business. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we find ourselves uh, looking at Chitanda Chirimuzi Suramunu, yet we have a log in our mm -hmm. own. Mm -hmm. So um, we just have to learn sometimes to to mind our own business and because when we mind other people's business we leave our business unminded mm -hmm. and that's not always a good thing very true yeah. so less than two weeks after the series ended the big brother you know back then uh, you were given 10 days to leave the country or appeal against the decision mm -hmm. which you appealed mm -hmm. and you know i don't really understand immigration laws that side but um, please explain to me you know what was going on there were you staying there illegally or what 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 uh, i was telling my brother what a visa is mm. right uh, mm -hmm. Africa. Yeah. And then they went back mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. 
Vanu gona kuita setaka waita. So let's put a visa system. Yeah. That's why you find that even up until tomorrow, an American passport and a British passport can go to at least 45 African countries visa on arrival. Yeah. But you with your visa, with your passport, mm -hmm. where can you go? Mm. No. Even in Africa, mm. Aliko Dankote said at a conference, could he still needs 35 visas in 35 African countries. Hey. So if you understand what a visa is, um, You'll understand that you'll understand that when people are having visa battles, mm -hmm. you'll be more compassionate because you'll understand why the visa was put there. Yeah, do you understand? Mm -hmm. They want to keep you out so that you don't do to them what they did to you. Yo, that's what the visa. Exactly. Now I'm going to do. Why until tomorrow? Why until tomorrow? Why until tomorrow? Why until tomorrow? And this is what I appeal to 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 African governments mm -hmm. to open our borders to each other mm -hmm. because. What the visa system does amongst each other as well mm -hmm. is it keeps us poor. Yes, yes. Because before I do trade with someone in South Africa, mm -hmm. how much is that in dollars? Mm -hmm. Who are we giving power? If I do to Kenya, instead of giving me shillings, how much is that in dollars? In dollars. Right? So, not meaning to digress mm -hmm. from the visa yeah. situation, yeah. it is important for people to know why visas are there. Mm -hmm. And um, you are not going to, number one, think uh, you are any special when you do have a visa mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. the United Kingdom. And number two, if you don't have it, you're not going to think there's something wrong with you mm -hmm. because really it's politics yeah. and it's politics to keep Africa poor. Mm -hmm. That's why until tomorrow now, if I need a visa for that country, mm -hmm. I won't go. Mm. If you have to interview me for that visa, mm -hmm. I'm not coming. Yeah. Because why? Mm -hmm. We have Jeff Bezos in America. Is he an immigrant? No. Is Oprah an immigrant? No. Is Tyler Perry an immigrant? What makes you think you're going to be a billionaire in a country that you're an immigrant? Food for thought. That's powerful. So if you're going to become very wealthy, it's going to start from home. So sometimes, let me talk to people who have been deported. Sometimes when you're sent back to your country, it's a blessing in disguise. Instead of trying to go back to a system that rejected you, find out what you can do in your own system. Ah, mm. uh, yeah, that's powerful. So you didn't bother going back to the UK no. since then. No, not really. In an interview, my sister, my sister lives there, mm -hmm. and she has a beautiful son, Pila. Mm -hmm. But today, we you can see family anywhere in the world. In the yeah, yeah. very true. So, Tingati, you were living there illegally. No, I was, I've, I've never been illegal in England. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then for me to now do business, yes. to make money, mm -hmm. I needed some sort of document. Oh, I right? see. Right? So mm. I could live there. I, could, I was on TV. Yes. So how can you be illegal if you're going to yeah, TV no, interviews? No, no, no. Yeah, right? Mm. Um, but I couldn't make outside because the interviews run out. Mm -hmm. At some point, those interviews that are giving you 25000 yes, they yeah. run out. Mm -hmm. Now you want to go and look for a job. They're like, yes. ah, your last visa was mm -hmm. like this. So, you know, so they keep you where they want you. Hey. Yeah, now I understand. I get the picture. In an interview, But that's why we come to the spot, right? <laughs> On the spot. To, to give you the picture. <laughs> exactly. <right>? Yeah. <laughs> and you're giving us the, the clear picture. Right. So you did an interview in 2005, mm. you know, uh, with The Independent. And this is <laughs> what you <he> said. <laughs> and I caught. He said, go into any hospital. The amount of cleaners that probably have the wrong immigra immigration status, but because they are doing the dirtiest job that nobody wants to do, they will not make an example of that person. Close cut. So do you think... You were personally targeted, you know, and for maybe for what reason? I don't think it was a personal target, but if you are going to make it anywhere in the world, the lens is going to zoom on you. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're not cleaning anymore, if you're not doing the dirty jobs, Vanama Dudabin and everything, mm -hmm. people are going to want to know who are you. Yeah. So it wasn't a function of targeted. It was a function of me going onto a pedestal yeah. and giving them something to target <laughs> <laughs> because... You know, there are people who have lived in the United Kingdom uh -huh. for 40 something years yes. and they're still probably trying to get their mm -hmm. paperwork. Mm -hmm. But you, as Makosi, you can't be, you can't live in a system like that. Very true. And I, I'm not a very quiet person. Mm -hmm. I am, 
I'm an interesting person. Yeah, I don't yeah. really use controversy. Indeed. So obviously, I always gave people the room mm -hmm. to zoom in. Yeah. So it's not. It wasn't. I don't think it was a targeting. I don't want to call it a targeting, it's but a, I because yeah. if I hadn't put myself on that pedestal. Mm -hmm. Nobody would have looked at me. Yeah, that's very true. So you fought the order, you know, and applied for asylum, claiming it was unsafe for you to return to your home country, Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Here in Zimbabwe, you know, and um, we subsequently granted the right to stay under the refugee status in mm -hmm. the UK. Mm -hmm. Were you unsafe coming back home? I, I didn't quite know, but I went to a nightclub mm -hmm. in uh, England. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to name names because the girl is very famous now. Oh, yes. And, but, you know Chief J? Chief J, yes. He fought for me that day. Oh. <laughs> so we went to a club in Luton, and uh, this girl, by virtue of me being Makosi, Zimbabwean mm -hmm, girl, mm -hmm. just took her drink and she poured it on me. Ah. Why? I, I did have a lot of hate from Zimbabweans oh, yeah. from there. Mm -hmm. And I can understand why. Mm -hmm. Like, why are you doing this? Why are you exposing us like oh, this? And, yes. you know, yes. um, so this girl literally poured. If I gave you her name, she's quite, she, she'll probably call you and she'll want to come on the show to oh. have the conversation. <laughs> but uh, she poured this drink on me and Chief J did not have it. Oh, my God. Hey. And until tomorrow from that day, Chief J is like a bestie to me. Because wow. he fought for me if, when nobody did. Definitely. Yeah, so that was really nice. So, yeah, I kind of felt like there was... Um, I'm, I'm not from the government, mm -hmm. but I, I kind of felt that I was not going to be safe amongst... Other Zimbabweans. Yeah. Oh, then I just yes. thought I was going to be targeted. I mean, Takakura Gunana for Fourth Avenue. Fourth Avenue. But my Jiro, because of Africa, my mini. Who in Yakashama, but why isn't it that? I've got no big one. I'm not going to do that. But yeah, but when you look back again, because you yes. know, uh, Steve Jobs says mm -hmm. life only makes sense in retrospect. Mm -hmm. When you look back again, nobody really cares. After yeah. some time... Uh, it's, like it it's now under, water under the bridge. Exactly. You know? <laughs> People might get excited one or two, yeah. but there was not even social... Mm -hmm. You know, Apana. so Apana. maybe the best thing, actually, I'll say this for the first time ever, the best thing that could have happened to me post Big Brother was to come home. I should have, but, mm. you know, that yes. it's just water yes. under the bridge. Wow. Yeah. So after leaving B Big Brother 6, you presented music shows on MTV yeah. and Ben TV. Yeah. So you made appearances on several television shows, including 8 out of 10 cats yes. you know, in 2005, yeah. E4 Zombie Thriller Dead Set in 2008, right. and British comedy Thriller Cash and Curry. Um, that was, um, you know, back then. Mm -hmm. So... What do you attribute uh, all these opportunities to? So, you know, sometimes when you are a larger-than-life personality, you think, oh, I can act, right? Mm -hmm. But I was met with the biggest surprise of yes. my life. Yes. I have so much respect for actors and actresses now mm -hmm. because they have the capacity to become somebody else. Mm -hmm. I don't. Yeah. I can only ever be Makosi. Mm. So I did all of that. It failed mm -hmm. because, I mean, the Cash and Curry was a big movie in India because it was an in British Indian movie. Yes. It was a big movie in India. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I failed at acting because I don't know how to be anybody else but myself. Oh, yes. So you're not an actress? No, I'm not an actress. I, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I can only be me. <laughs> exactly. You, know? you can't pretend. So, so when, they, when I needed to be a part, I can't be that part. Mm. That's why I've got so much respect for people like Kate Hanshaw, a yes. very good friend of yes. mine. Yes, yes. I have so much respect for actresses. Yeah, I, I met you sometime. Like, I saw you guys yeah, in Zambia. Yeah, exactly, Zambia. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> I have so much respect for them because they know how to be somebody else. Yes. They, they can read a script. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just by reading this exactly. <laughs> to be somebody else. I just, I would just, I just kept frustrating a lot of directors. Yeah. So the yeah. only part, the only role, if there are any directors out there, mm -hmm. the only role I can ever play is me. Yeah. So if you're looking for Makosi, mm -hmm. I can do that hundred percent. If you're looking I, for Makosi, by the way. If you're looking, for, exactly. If you're looking for Makosi, <laughs> yes. I can be Makosi 100%. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking for somebody else, even in relationships, yes. I don't know how to be anybody else but myself. <laughs> even in relationships. <laughs> no, Makosi, but you're naturally an actress. Naturally. How do you mean? No, you just you just flowing. Look, I'm just be, I, I've been just laughing, <laughs> laughing. I'm like, like, you know what? But that's <laughs> who I am. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, in 2012, you returned to Zimbabwe. Yeah. 2012. Mm. You know what brought you back home in 2012? Because there's no place like home. 
Mm. Like, um, I still believe, I've said this to, what's her name? Uh, Miss Red. Mm -hmm. I said, I think Zimbabwe is the most beautiful country in the world. Yes. Like, I could not believe that I went to Victoria Falls mm -hmm. for the first time last year. I I'd went, never been. I went there a few weeks ago for the first time. Exactly. We have something as magnificent mm -hmm. as the Victoria Falls. Yes. I, I, I could not believe I'd not done that. Yes. So I think Zimbabwe is one of the most beautiful mm -hmm. countries in the world. Mm -hmm. And, you know, no matter how long I stayed away for, something just kept calling me back. Yeah. Like something just, something just keeps calling you back mm -hmm. because wherever your placenta is mm -hmm. you're always gonna that's your Kumba. north that's your north because all of us have a north right yeah and wherever your placenta is mm -hmm. that's your north wow so you know in in, in that uh, same year you were banned from the uk for traveling using um a relatives uh, you know passports whose passport were you using and you know who, you know how these white people think all black mm. people look alike mm -hmm. i was using my passport they say, no, she's using... Don't worry, don't worry about that. <laughs> but when I did come in 2012, I must yeah. say again, mm -hmm. it's Chief J who picked me up in Zambia. Chief J. He's amazing. Big shout out to you, man. He's big, big shout out to you. Chief J. He is such an amazing guy. He's for the guy. kids, right? Yeah. No, he's... Uh, he's. You know, if you have Joseph mm -hmm. Maka as a friend, yes, you have a true friend. Wow. He's, he's good people like mm -hmm, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to you, my brother. Yeah. Salute. Mm -hmm. So in 2013, Makosi, you authored a book titled Love Yourself. Self-love, the ultimate choice. Yes. Yeah. So tell me about the you know, personal journey of self-love. So the personal journey of self-love was birthed out of, obviously, me doing a program like Big Brother, being so ashamed of it. And mm -hmm. the thing is, people are like dogs. When they see that you don't love yourself, mm -hmm. They treat you according to the level of love you award yourself. Mm. So no matter, and loving yourself is not going to the spa. It's yes. not makeup. Yes. It's mm -hmm. not, no, no. Loving yourself is looking at yourself in the mirror, no makeup, no yes. nothing. Yes. And not wanting to be anybody else but mm -hmm. that person you're looking at. Mm. 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 Right? Yeah. So for me, it was a journey of, it was my personal journey mm -hmm. of loving myself again yeah yeah so it wasn't it didn't have anything to do with wanting to to teach anyone anything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was just me wanting to love myself again and i'm still on that journey i'm still on the journey of um mm -hmm. like, Can I ask you no 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 and yeah. if if I'm so blessed enough mm -hmm. to live like that. Wow. If I don't like it, mm -hmm. I don't have to be here. Yes. If I don't want to talk to you, mm -hmm. I don't have to be in this conversation. Exactly. If I don't want to answer my phone today, I can mm -hmm. leave my phone. I don't even know where my phone is now. <laughs> I can leave my phone. I don't exactly. have to. And when you love yourself enough, you know that you are the magnet. Mm -hmm. The Bible talks about kings will come out of us when I was yes. showering this morning. Yes. You know, people wake up and they think, oh God, I want to meet someone who will change my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the Bible is saying that person who will change your life will come out of you because kings will come outside of you. Wow. Right? Wow. So if kings reside in me and mm -hmm. they will come outside of mm -hmm. me, when I meet people out there, mm -hmm. I'm not looking for somebody to better my life. Yes. Because your life becoming a better life mm -hmm. is not in the hands of anybody, not even in the president's yes. hands. Yes. It is in your hands. Mm. That's like I say. I think it's a like, like lecture, a life coach, <laughs> someone, something like that. We are learning. <laughs> I love her responses. Because the, the, the moment she's just opening her mouth, Trungo Ziza, wisdom. That's wisdom. Wisdom. I, I, I love it. And you, wanna, and you want to surround yourself with uh, um, people who challenge you mm -hmm. to be better. I know Wigno personally as yes, well. Yes, yes. Great guy. Mm -hmm. Um so you just want to surround yourself with people who yes who challenge you to to do more yeah instead of saying ah oh, we are Uvaira, you, you have to say to yourself but god if you can do it for him mm -hmm. i know that you can do something for, for me right yeah. but if you surround yourself with people who make you feel comfortable where mm -hmm. you are the at the top yeah Right, mm -hmm. I don't like being in rooms where everybody's saying, "Oh, Makosi, Makosi." No, yeah. I don't want to mm -hmm. be there mm -hmm. because that room very soon yeah. I will meet everybody. Yeah, 
right? Yes. I like being in rooms where I'm looking up to everybody and I'm thinking, wow, wow. this is amazing. This oh, is yes. Amazing. This yeah. is amazing. So it's the other way around. Yeah, you, oh, you, oh, you don't want to be in a room where you're being hailed all the time mm. because that room will soon kill you. Mm. You want to be in a room where you are hailing people. Yeah. You're thinking, yeah. oh my God, how do you do this? How do exactly. And ask the right questions. I'll tell you a story. Mm -hmm. One day I was leaving Harare and I saw Nigel Chanakira mm -hmm. in the business class lounge. Yes. So I went in and I got my food and I was chowing my food. And mm -hmm. then he comes in and I recognized mm -hmm. him. I was like, wow. And then he goes and he gets his food on mm -hmm. his plate. He had salad, mm -hmm. he had this, he yes. had that. I put my plate aside. Yeah. And I went and I put exactly what was on Nigel's <laughs> plate on my plate. So I go and I sit there and, you know, people underestimate body mirroring. Mm. Looking at someone, how they eat, mm -hmm. how they talk, like mimicking someone yes, really yes, yes. can elevate mm -hmm. you. And he noticed that someone is... Uh, mirroring and mimicking me. <laughs> ah, exactly. He says, are you okay? I said, mm -hmm. yes, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I said, I noticed that you put salad on your plate. So I went and I put salad on my plate. Mm -hmm. And then he said, oh yeah, that happened to me mm -hmm. when I met Bill Gates. And I said, I know. Ooh. How did I know? Because yeah. I'd read about Nigel Chanakira. Oh, yeah. I'd read about, because what I try and do, I don't go to blogs that gossip about mm -hmm. people. Yes. I go to places mm -hmm. where I find out information about change makers exactly when i meet that change mm -hmm. maker mm -hmm. i talk to them like we know each other exactly because i've read about you mm -hmm. but if we're just uh, looking at gossip mongers mm -hmm. and how are we going to be elevated no and you know people let me tell you ladies if you're listening mm -hmm. men love it when you talk to them about themselves mm -hmm. right yes even women sometimes. Mm -hmm. So if you come and you say, oh, Makosi, I know you like this. Yes. I'm bound to pay attention. Mm -hmm. Of course. To say, oh, do you like it too? Exactly. You know? Mm -hmm. But if you're not reading about what great people are doing, how are you going to get into those rooms? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I struck off my relationship with Nigel then. I've learned so much from him. But I just got from the fact that I read about that he did that with Bill Gates. Yes. He walks in and I did that. And the thing about reading... And exposing yourself to greatness mm -hmm. is um, once something is in your head, you have something called a subconscious mind. Yes. And your subconscious mind is there to fetch anything that you put in it. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So if you put greatness in you, you're going to start bumping into greatness. Yes. Yes. But if you put junk into you, guess what you're going to bump into? Mm. Because your subconscious mind is there to prove you right. That's the job of your yes. subconscious mind. Yes. So whatever you're putting in, is what you're going to start seeing. Have you ever noticed that you've never seen a red BMW on yes. the streets? Yeah. You go to, where do you buy cars in Zimbabwe? Um, uh, Give me any. Kwa Victor. Kwa Victor. <laughs> you go Kwa Victor. Oh, Victor, call me. Exactly. You go Kwa Victor <laughs> and uh, you buy a BMW, mm -hmm. a red BMW. Yes. You leave that and then all of a sudden, you start seeing red BMWs. Mm -hmm. Do you know what's happening? Yeah. Your subconscious mind is there to prove you right. Mm. That's why the Bible also says, whatever you fear, you shall meet. Yes. Because it's inside you. Yeah. So yeah. it's important for you, what are you reading? And what is your angle of you know, reading that? I don't know how my subconscious mind uh, produced Ola. Mm. But um, I know that your interview with Takura... Mm -hmm struck me yeah you told me you yeah. even texted yeah i said this is the conversation we need to be having yes we need a space and you have created that space mm -hmm. that people can come if they carry shame mm -hmm. they leave it here yes true if they dealt with shame mm -hmm. this is a place of liberation for them 100 percent a place where people can come. I saw also the interview with uh, Prophet Passion. Passion, yes. You know why I love Passion? Yeah. Passion loves Passion. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. I like that. And because Passion loves Passion, he will always bump into people who love Passion. Mm -hmm. Because people love you to the level you love yourself. Very true. He comes here, he says, I don't watch you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And a lot of people might be triggered by that. Yeah. But for me, I watched, I, I just watched the plethora of mm -hmm. people that mm -hmm. come here. And I'm like, I don't know if Ola knows what he's doing. Yeah. 
because some people might not end up in this chair, mm-hmm. but the deliverance happens where they are. This deliverance is service is not about people. Lay, be careful about people who lay hands on you. Yes. Deliverance service is about your mind changing. Mm. And I think that's what your program does. Thank you so much, because this is just deep. As you were you know, narrating this, I was like... You said, are you ready to swim? I no. said, let's go. <laughs> now we are now at the deep, deep end. 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 Exactly. No, but then I, I think, and I think that's why I, I got my face done by Tsungi, by the yes, way. Yes, yes. I didn't want to show up mediocre. Yes. I really wanted to show up looking my best. Very true. Um, Very true. It wasn't she's, easy she's to good. get here. She's, you're on point. Yeah. You're on Tsungi, point. right? Yeah. Um, but I, I really love what you're doing here. Mm-hmm. It blessed me. Yeah, thank so, you. So, and I'm sure it. A lot of people out there are watching, and they're thinking, you know what? If Makusi can go on there and talk about her life the way yes. she did, then yeah. why not me? Anybody who looks at me and thinks I'm less of a person, mm-hmm. it's their problem, not me. Very true. Yeah. So, can we expect uh, you know more books again from you anytime Absolutely. soon? Absolutely. I'm writing the book on cancer. Wow. On my cancer survival. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, as you notice, every time I talk about it, I break down. Yeah. So I've been writing the book for seven years. Mm-hmm. Seven Telling years. my chapters, I'm no shika. And then I, I just can't keep uh, going because hey. of what I saw. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about that. Okay. In, you also launched you know, a talk show, uh, you know, Marcos Today. Marcos which Today. Aired, yeah, Marcos Today is on the, TV. It's about 10 years old now. Yeah. It was launched. Do you know how Marcos Today happened? Uh-huh. Tell us. I was minding my own business for Celebration Center. Uh-huh. And then, do you know Blogo? Blogo, we Oh, yes, yes. He comes to me, he says, are you Makosi? I'm like, yeah. Then he goes, he says, what are you doing with your name? I said, what do people do with their name? Exactly. Aren't you just go and say, hello, my name is exactly. Makosi, Makosi or whatever. That's it. And then he said, um, we have a production company here. We could actually produce uh, a show. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what will you call it? Yes. And then he says, I'll call it Makosi today. And that's how we started recording with wow. the Celebration Center. Oh, yeah. just like that. Just like that. Guys, but you should fire again. Yeah, I got to fire. Tanga to be DSTV. Exactly. To get to say, ah, to fire. But then that's why that's how life happens. I think I. I one think thing I like that about that. I want to see that. We talk Look, uh, let's do this. Like Ola. you said earlier on, like. I will just go. I'll just go. In any self doubt. I I like that. Man. Do you know I swam in the devil's pool? Really? You've not seen that mm, one. Mm, mm, mm. I, I won't try. Listen, <sighs> I left my hotel. And then they now said we have to cross a river yes. to get to. So we crossed the river. And then Tashika, I didn't even know I was going to do it. Yes. Until Tashika, Pamo Pekuta, Anzi, Takuda, Kuenda, Ku, the devil's pool. Exactly. I said, and then I saw about 20 white people yeah. doing it. I said, I can't remember what I said. But I just started to talk to my ancestors. But look, I hope I'm not <laughs> disrespecting <laughs> you. I just said, Kunembura, I hope I'm not disrespecting you, the Zinza. Yeah. Just, you know, I, like I, I've got zero self-doubt. Like I might feel nervous mm-hmm. about something. Yes. But then I always think to myself, what the, what's the worst that could happen? Yeah. And even would be mic. When you my notes. Exactly. Not our, just that. So what's the problem? But you know what? What was the goal of the show? Yeah. Uh, when you first started, I mean, uh, doing that show. So for us, um, we we thought we would use the fame mm-hmm. of Makosi, yeah. of just the, the brand. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, in retrospect, mm-hmm. that was the beginning of my coaching journey. Wow. Because all my videos are coaching videos. So would you say you have achieved the, the goal? Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Amazing. I'm here today. You are a founder you know, of uh, Africa Media Incorporated and um, you know, also a certified life coach. Yes. What made you want to do life coaching? Life coaching, I've, I've been through quite a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, I think with what I've been through, I can, I can help people navigate themselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, so again, that was a why not. Mm. And a why not? <laughs> <laughs> this one. <laughs> it was a, Trust it, me. It was a I know. I know. You, you, you know what, uh, Magosu? Right. Who knows when I go right now? But you are just changing a lot of people's, you know, mindset and also j- their lives. Because but that's my job. That's my ah, job as a life you coach. You are doing it so well. That's my job as life. You, my job as a life coach is to make you realize that 
if you want to okay i'm going to tell you what i wanted to say uh -huh. but then i will rephrase yeah. if you want to become president go for it yeah. but not just like that uh -huh. right yeah. but i i believe that you can become anything you want to become mm, mm, mm. do you know that jesus didn't have to go to the cross yeah at some point he said if it was my will mkombo in gulfwood but let it be according to your, your will. will so he had a will mm -hmm. and that thing called the will is so powerful yeah in any given point in time when you're confronted with an opportunity mm -hmm. or and you know the bible also tells us that he gives us the desires of mm. our heart mm. not yeah. could you have desired this water and then he gives you yes for you to desire the water he has put the desire yes. in you yeah so if he has put the desire in you he can help you execute mm -hmm. the desire right mm -hmm. so as long as you wake up and you think i want to do this give it a shot that's very powerful you know a lot of people say life has no formula there so what exactly Will you be coaching and how do you know if it works, you know, uh, to this person, can we need the other person? Right. Yeah. So what, what we do is we, we, you come to me and you tell me what you imagine the problem mm -hmm. is. Because you know all our problems are imag yeah. imagined. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so you tell me what you imagine the problem mm -hmm. is. And then we follow a path around that uh, imagination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, personally, I think your belief system yeah what you believe mm -hmm. will always deliver yeah can i ring anga anga ka kuti o matomboy and down it ashakati now and you believe kuti chait mhm mm chait yeah if it's jesus who can see and down it a hell mary mm -hmm. this amount if you believe kuti chait chait so whatever you believe mm -hmm. right yeah is you is what you're going to achieve yes so for me as a coach mm -hmm. come to me and tell me what you want to believe and that's how I'll program you because we are all computers. Mm. We are all computers. Yes. Operating on a software. Mm -hmm. iPhone 8 I kwanza kuita shukuta iPhone 15. If you want to operate at iPhone 15 level, you mm -hmm. come to a coach yeah. and we upgrade your system. Wow. That's what I do. Come get upgraded. <laughs> Train up <our> guys. <laughs> so, you know, uh let's talk about your philanthropy journey. You know, right. in 2014 you donated uh, sanitary wear to the Tokem Kosi disaster victims, uh, you know, uh, you know you you personally visited um we went Chinguizi. to Tokem, yes. Yes, Chinguizi yes. camp mm -hmm. where more than 300 families, you know, are living. The women at the camp were reportedly using leaves, you know, as sanitary wear. Mm. Tell me about what you saw and what was happening at Chinguizi camp if you still remember. So we got there in a bus. I think there were about 20 of us. Uh, Nigel Aishandaku H Metro mm -hmm. came with us. Funde. Yes, Nigel Funde. Yes. Bra he's my baby brother. Oh, yeah. So he gathered up journalists because mm -hmm. we wanted to raise awareness on what was happening yes. there. Yes. And I personally bought the sanitary towels myself. Oh, wow. And uh, we took an eight hour journey mm. to Chinguizi. To Chinguizi. To Kashkapa Dust Road. We saw fire. Mm. And then, obviously, when we got there, the people were a little bit suspicious of yes. who are you people, mm -hmm. what do you want from oh, yeah. us? And people oh, are yes. always, you know. Yeah. Um, but we we were able to give them. This was 10 years ago, mm -hmm. actually. So uh, Sister Skipper is 10 years old. Mm -hmm. So we we gave them the pads. Um, we cried with some of them. Mm -hmm. uh, we hugged. And, you know, sometimes people just want to know yeah. that... Mm -hmm. are thinking about mm -hmm. us and i think post that uh people started going mm -hmm. there and doing work they chopper started flying in yes. and for me i was very grateful mm -hmm. but um having gone there and used my brand mm -hmm. as uh awareness yes. was a win-win for me mm, that's very powerful and you see a woman at jifara you know putting a smile on someone's face as now to it's just a blessing you know what ola just a blessing. give us eh? mm -hmm are the most selfish people. Yeah. Give us. Oh. Why? Why do you so? Because how you feel when you give someone something, mm -hmm. you can't describe it. That feeling. The, like, I can't describe the feeling. I have 14 kids who are on a scholarship mm -hmm. right now yes. that we just did. I think I showed you some videos. Yes. It's, it's such a beautiful, I think as humans, because we're created in the image of God yes. and God gives. So our nature is to give. Mm. Every time you give, the person that, 
chanda kupa chicha pera and you're going to go and ask for somebody else yes. but the feeling you leave me with we are still talking about mm-hmm. tokwem kosi yes yes so give us are the most selfish people i say so myself yeah it makes sense now it makes sense because it makes <laughs> giving makes you feel mm-hmm. good try it and try it i'm not going to try to give yeah yeah there's no bad sira so besides being a business woman like i said earlier you are also a philanthropist you mm-hmm. know you also founded uh, be your sister's keeper mm-hmm. foundation mm-hmm. Uh, which uh, you know you launched in 2014 mm-hmm. uh, which has seen you go as far as Ghana <laughs> Kenya Kenya you know all those countries mm-hmm. um as you empower you know girls mm-hmm. um, and women mm-hmm. what was the inspiration behind um the launch of this initiative time ngua chae chae ka atina you and me mm. sometimes i imagine how i've got a very creative mind mm-hmm. i imagine how my body will be mm-hmm. 650 under even if you live to 100 years old you don't have as much time as you have mm. you think you have mm. Mm. and making your mark mm-hmm. or making an impact yeah should be one of the most important agendas of your life yes you know yeah. so sisters keeper for me is about touching as many lives mm-hmm. in as many countries yes kuti when i'm long gone since i don't have my own biological mm-hmm. offspring when i'm long gone there are people who are still going to remember kuti if it wasn't for makosi i would not have gone to school mm. If it wasn't for Makosa, my wife got to like in Kenya we donated beds wow. to a Maasai um, mm-hmm. community. Community. Yeah. Um what you do for people and how you leave people feeling is never forgotten. Mm. So that's what drives sister keeper. Yeah, it's it's powerful. Imimi munola ngo piwa, mujingo da ngo chengeta zvine zvenyu muzingambopo vamwe. You know guys, like I said earlier, I'm sure but not because this program your mindset ngwana kama kama monero ka ri different mm, mm. we get inspired nema stories aka fine i the reason why we have brought makosi on this platform is not just to talk about her personal life but also what zaka achieve in her life also kubatsira iwewe neni tiri kuterera remember she said she's a life coach mm-hmm. so you also need to my to my life nuggets to my to my tips so You know, trend of Mbere so I'm mm. loving I'm just loving this conversation Thank you. Thank I'm you. just loving it and I'm learning as well. Thank as I'm interviewing you, you mm-hmm. I'm also learning. Mm-hmm. You oh, know. Well. Thank you. <laughs> and the thing about giving it doesn't matter what you're giving. Mm. Some people can go to Tokem Kosi. Yes. Some people can donate beds. Some people can uh, donate um, can give scholarships. Mm-hmm. Some people say go and call Victor. Mm. <laughs> she don't my levels. My levels are true. Yeah. Understand? Exactly. So, if meet your giving mm-hmm. at your level. Mm-hmm. If your mm-hmm. giving right now is to know that when we're next door, hana kujika for two days yes. or three days. Yes. To God, wakafana na nemuna hapa munu mota. So it doesn't matter what you're giving. Exactly. What matters and and can I just say this? Mm-hmm. Start by giving your parents. Mhm right yeah let everybody around you mm-hmm. feel your giving mm-hmm. before you give those outside and when the charity begins, charity at, begins home. at home yeah that's very powerful yeah. this is powerful guys yeah. start start with van remember me also in the yeah so in 2014 you were recognized with the media personality of the year award by zimbabwe international women awards yeah. how did you feel you know do, i mean being recognized for your work You see because most of the things that I do I do for fun. Mm-hmm. So when I'm recognized I think I've also gotten like a global award Afri- global contributor Africa whatever in uh-huh. Durban. I just get home and I think Makosi mm-hmm. really if these people knew that urungu fara so you're having fun exactly. like I'm just having fun with it. I appreciate those who recognize mm-hmm. what I do. I yes. absolutely appreciate them. Mm-hmm. But then literally if you come into my office uh, we were talking when before I left uh, for the journey mm-hmm. that I I, I kind of need to organize my awards because I I have quite a lot I of them. Want you, so I want So I have you, to organize them and my certificates because you know yeah, but i yeah. Ab- I, ab- i appreciate it when mm-hmm. people uh, recognize mm-hmm. it's nice it's a nice feeling but uh, yeah. we just go in on to the next 
earlier on, because you, you know, you touched on the cancer issue. Yeah. Which I believe you are the right person to talk to, mm-hmm. or maybe if you can shed some more light, because I know someone out there mm-hmm. is suffering from the same condition. True. Someone out there is actually thinking of maybe giving up mm-hmm. Don't because give up. of that situation. Don't give up. So I want to take you back a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know it's not a really good space for you. I know okay. I, when we were talking about it, I, I saw you were you know Im- becoming emotional. Yeah. So I'm really sorry about that. I'm, it's okay. I'm, I'm just taking you back. It's okay. A bit, but I want to help someone. someone okay. Who's watching at home, probably you know bedridden mm-hmm. or something like that. I'm like, mm-hmm. ah. but here is my cousin mm-hmm. with an inspiring. Story, because mm-hmm. I understand in 2017 that's when you were diagnosed with cancer, breast cancer. Breast yes. cancer yes. Mm-hmm. So, um, when you were told the news, mm-hmm. you know, what was your first reaction? So I went to South Africa, mm-hmm. and my doctor, Doctor Vorobiev, uh, Vietnamese, mm-hmm. uh, said to me. He told me the tests that I needed to do, mm-hmm. and then I did the tests. I came back. And then he said, you have triple negative uh, breast cancer. Mm-hmm. The one that doesn't respond to chemotherapy. Oh, that's triple negative. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I remember when I was in the office, I was like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what, what's, the, what's the treatment plan? Mm. Because project manager 101, yeah. I said, what's the treatment plan? Mm. He says, oh, you're going to have to have a mastectomy, chemotherapy. Duh, duh, duh. Mm. I'll outline things for you. Yes. But we'll send you the tests you need to do for Yes, him. yes. So I left his office. I was, I was by myself. I left his office and then I went outside. Um, so Santon Oncology then was mm-hmm. right next to McDonald's. Mm-hmm. So I told my brother I was standing at McDonald's, come mm-hmm. and pick me up. My brother didn't even know what I was doing in South Yay. Africa. So I stood there waiting for him. Mm-hmm. And then one bee just, and uh, before the bee, mm-hmm. these guys, these hot, hot guys yes. in there. Yes. I think it was a Q7 or something. Yes. They were looking, checking a babe out, <laughs> exactly. right? I can see them. It's, it was almost like an out-of-body experience. Yeah. I can see them checking me out, but here I am trying to think, how mm-hmm. am I going to live? Hey. And then no tear. And then I dropped my, then this bee just mm-hmm. kept coming from mm-hmm. me. Look at it, Zinga, the bee is not yeah. going. And then I did this, and then my phone fell on the ground. Mm. And then I went on my knees to pick up my phone. Mm. And probably my phone shattering was the metaphor of how I felt my life was shattering. I see. I see. I see. And that was the moment I cried. Mm. Yeah. I cried so hard. Mm. Because... I look after my parents. I retired my parents 16 years ago. Mm. And I I just started thinking, what am I going to tell mom? What am I going to tell? How am I going to tell them? So you thought that was the end? Yeah. And as I saw my brother's car coming, I had to to get strong Mm -hmm. because I've always been the strong one. Yeah. So I had to get strong and then he came, which helped me Mm. in the journey because Mm. Mm. instead of sitting there and feeling sorry for myself, there there were moments I didn't want them to see how sick I was. Yes. He picked me up and uh, I said to him, take me to Samsung. Mm -hmm. And then we went to Samsung and he says, why why do you want to go to Samsung? I said, Mm -hmm. I need to buy a new phone. I need to buy a new phone. Like I made it about buying a new phone Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as long as I can run away from what's happening. So we went to Samsung, we bought a new phone. Uh. Right away. Because sometimes that's what we do with our problems. Oh. When there's a problem, when a problem arises, yes. we go and buy a new watch. A new watch. <laughs> you go and buy a new car. Exactly. A new bag. Uh, but the problem never goes away. Yeah. Um, and then I got home and I started looking for Bible verses. Mm-hmm. I started looking for women of faith who mm-hmm. survived cancer. Mm. 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 And I came across Dodie Austin. Mm-hmm. Um who had cancer like God knows how many years ago. Mm-hmm. And she came up with that Bible verses, yes. about 40 of them. Yes. And I said, I'm not, she was a pastor's wife. And then I saw Joyce Meyer. Mm-hmm. 
unfortunately, I didn't see any Africans. Yes. Although I know they're African mm -hmm. women of faith who have had cancer. Yes. I didn't see any Africans. But anyway, just remember that, mm -hmm. that portion. Yes. I looked, I looked, I said, I'm not going to remember all these Bible mm -hmm. verses. But right at the bottom of Do uh, uh, Dodie Austin's testimony, mm -hmm. she said she, at, the, at some point she got so frail and so sick that she put her Bible on the floor mm -hmm. and she said, the Bible says, after all has been done, stand on the word. I just took my Bible, Mangisi Mangidu, mm -hmm. I put it on the floor. I stood it on, I stood on it. I said, God, I am not going to remember all the Bible verses I need to remember. Mm -hmm. But I know that if I'm going to fight, you're going to fight with mm -hmm. me. And I also know that if I don't make it, mm -hmm. I will still have put a dent yeah. in the cancer awareness mm -hmm. story because I will talk about it. Yes. When my hair falls out, I'll go to the internet and mm -hmm. I'll show people. Yes. I will show people that cancer is not a death sentence. Mm -hmm. However, when it is, live your life to the full. Mm. So if you have been told that you have breast cancer or any kind of cancer mm -hmm. out there, mm -hmm. it's not a death sentence. Yeah. There's a lot of work. There are a lot of things you're going to have to stop eating, things like mm -hmm. sugar. There's a lot of things you're going to have to start doing, like exercise. Yes. And also, it's important for you to keep your your temple yes. happy and clean. Mm -hmm. Just surround yourself with things that make you happy. Mm. And just do what the doctors tell you to do. Sometimes pastors will tell you that we'll pray. Mm. But I've seen a lot of people die. From what you're saying, you know, I'm just discovering that it really affected your physical and mental being. Absolutely. It takes a dig at your mental being mm -hmm. because you know who you are when you're not sick yes and then uh, i remember the day my hair started falling out mm -hmm. so what i did i said i know chemotherapy makes your hair fall out oh yeah so i'm gonna cut my hair okay before the chemotherapy before the came. Came. oh yes so yes. i went and i cut my hair mm -hmm. but by the time the chemotherapy came my mm -hmm. hair started growing mm -hmm. so there was hair to fall off yes that is the most traumatic thing that can ever happen to anybody mm. Because a woman, your beauty yeah. is in your hair, it's yes. in your breasts, yes. it's in everything. And all of that was taken away from me. Yes. All you of know, that. You know, the reason why I, I, I'm just, just two days ago, I received a phone call from a friend. He said, Ola, you know what, my brother? I'm in hospital. You know, I was with this uh, guy, I think two months back mm -hmm. in Dundee. Mm -hmm. Then he said, I'm in hospital. I'm like, what, what's, what's wrong? He started crying. He said, my guy, the Baruga Kens. And it's now in stage, this stage is, they really confused. Mm -hmm. Stage three, something like that. Okay, it's, it's bad, but it's, I say, he will fight. He said, I don't know if I'm going to make it. He will. I said, my brother, don't worry. Mm. I've seen people struggling and coming back. Coming back, of course. It's all here. If you tell yourself, exactly, I'm not so going to make the it. The reason why I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, listening when you are talking, mm -hmm. I would want, I mean, him to watch this part of the right. show. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to be inspired. inspired. Mm -hmm. He's going to change his, the, I mean, perception. Mm -hmm. That's it. Say, ah, okay. So if Makosi is sitting right now with Ola, alive, seven alive, years later, seven years later, look. Mm -hmm. This is why I'm just like, okay, mm -hmm. let's talk about this. Right. Because, you know, one woman, you know, I'm going to talk about it. 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 But that is really for, for you. Mm -hmm. What changes did this issue brought into your life? Mindset. I look at life differently. Mm. Like I look at... Uh, I mean, I know I'm pretty, but I'm not a slay queen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like um, that I'm a slay queen. Yes, I'm yeah. not that. I, uh -huh. I, I look at life totally differently. I, I can wear the same clothes. Mm -hmm. um, 
like this one. Yeah. I'm going to wear it again. I, there's a dinner I want to go to next week. Yes. I'm just going to wash it and wear it again. <laughs> and this <laughs> nice. is seen as a If I want something, I just go and buy. Yeah. I, I, you, you tend to be less materialistic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to look presentable. Yes. How shall we teach you such good? Exactly. Not that there's anything wrong with yeah. good, but how shall we go and wait? You know. Yeah. But um, what matters changes and values. Mm -hmm. Your values. The, yeah. That's the number one yeah. thing that changes are mm -hmm. your values. The people. You know, Dambuzi um, Korakaita say cancer mm -hmm. shows you who matters. Because when we say my dad now kubawa, you don't see them. Yeah. When we say my dad should not come under nazo, you don't see them. Mm -hmm. You just see mom, dad, brothers, sisters. Mm, only. When we were go text her, oh, I'm so sorry. But nobody comes. They yeah, they're not and showing it's up. A, and it's also a very expensive <laughs> yeah. uh, disease to fight. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why we have the golf tournaments, yes. uh, breast cancer mm -hmm. awareness. Mm -hmm. Because if you catch it early, your chances of survival mm -hmm. are higher yeah. than if you catch it late. Mm. However, there are so many treatment protocols. Mm -hmm. Like your friend, I can talk to him yeah. if he wants. Yeah. There are so many treatment protocols. There are things you can follow. Like mm -hmm. there's a tea called ACAC tea. Yeah. Um, I'll write it down for you. Okay. Um, I am post-cancer, mm -hmm. but I still drink it. Yeah. Right? So, so you're so, not cancer-free? Yeah, I'm cancer-free. Wow, thank God. 100%. Mm -hmm. So there are things you can do to, to live you know, a healthy life. I take mm -hmm. vitamins. I think in my bag I have about... 15 vitamins that are ready for me to take yes. right now. Yes. So, uh, and I'll use your anointed water to Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. So, it's not a death sentence, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. It's no longer a death sentence in the West, and mm -hmm. it shouldn't be a death sentence. The only thing I would want to see more of mm -hmm. is probably for the government to have cancer centers, yeah. um, increase awareness, um, give mammograms mm -hmm. to certain age groups. Yeah. Just put it in the program because because of our diet changing drastically yes. as Africans. Yes. 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 So it's very important for you to also watch your diet and um, keep a positive mindset. Mm -hmm. You when, you, when you just talk about uh, you know diet, mm -hmm. just maybe some tips. Give us some tips. Tips. Yeah, on what to eat. Sugar. Can I'm sugar, sugar, coffee, can I'm tea? Stop there, mm -hmm. because sugar feeds feeds inflammation. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying stop everything sugar because there's almost sugar in everything. In, everything, in, yeah. you, in starch, in your sadza, there's mm -hmm. sugar in your rice, there's sugar. But if you're putting the portions, you're putting smaller portions. Eat more protein, more fruits, mm -hmm. more vegetables, mm -hmm. and drink a lot of water. Yeah, right. Drink mm -hmm. a lot of water. Yeah, yes. and stay away from vanilla Coca Cola. This is mm -hmm. not bad advertisement for vanilla mm -hmm. Coke, but stay away from soft drinks. Let's mm -hmm. put it that way. Um, because inflammation, uh, sugar feeds the inflammation. Yeah. So basically, at that basic level. And then we said this right at the beginning of the conversation. Mm -hmm. Surround yourself with people that matter. Yes. Joguti, you just want to surround yourself with, with autopilot people. Yeah. You know, surround yourself with people who pray for you mm -hmm. if you're one of those people who pray. Yeah. And people ask, Kuti, you, you mentioned it, Kuti, and Tanga Kurwara, Vano Tanga Kuna Mata, and... You know, sometimes I'm gonna be I'm gonna be very controversial yes. in this moment. I'm mm -hmm. a Christian, <laughs> but chirukuku poresa kus kunamata. Chirukuku poresa is kunamata changes your lifestyle. Yeah. Okay. What we are changes after your is lifestyle, lifestyle change. Yeah. yeah. When you start praying, panenzira zaunita stop taking. Exactly. Once your lifestyle becomes alkaline, mm -hmm. you start becoming healthier. Mm. You think because ndaka namata. But because you changed your, your lifestyle. lifestyle. That's powerful. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. So moving on on a lighter bar than that. But is there anything light on DJ uh, oh. of course. Okay. <laughs> so tell us about your relationship with the uh, you know Nigerian musician too fast. You know, <laughs> where did you guys meet? I want to know. <laughs> and for how long have you guys been like We've together? Met, okay, so relationships. I I have a relationship with you. Yeah. You're my brother, mm -hmm. right? Oh, um, at least you you're my brother. Yes, you're my brother. <laughs> uh, I have a relationship with Chief J. He's mm -hmm. my friend. Mm -hmm. Relationship with Wicknell. He's my friend. Mm -hmm. And Innocent was just one of those. Yo. Yeah. Just, you know. A friend. A friend. Yeah. Nothing And much. we are still friends. I think we spoke two days ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nothing much. Nothing much. People are like, well, maybe they are, they are in a relationship as in. What is much? 
Can I'm cheating nothing oh, much what is maybe you am face wa go dey yo be bo ago top shot top shot rina diva rina diva top shot can and you are going to this is a true jola can and you when say 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 can and you ah but this is go you that you need to go manya that you need to go manya i think you need to go manya serious no no but i i in a relationship like a serious i just told you that that you need to go manya <laughs> or maybe these guys are not convincing you enough. Atinure. <laughs> no why? Huh? Why? Because guy when you when you've lived life uh-huh. to this point sometimes when we go on the vanokuza. Uh-huh. The truth could sometimes it's better to be alone. Mhm. Because munu enyama ka. Akada kuitira barbecue. Yes. <laughs> Guys, I told you she's a comedian man. But the yaba can't get to barbecue, you know. Um but if you find someone you can commit to and they can commit to you mm-hmm. and my terms and conditions mm-hmm. prenup. I I encourage Africans to to sign prenups. Prenups, yeah. yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Sign a prenup. Have mm-hmm. terms and conditions mm-hmm. to this thing because kungonyura. Ongoya ngo timbo wabo. And you can't swim. Uchivunga uthi ngomuno acha kupa acha kutorela live. Bravo. That is going you as a woman. So you're like you're, like, you're single. What is being single again? Not seeing someone. And I think we 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 put too much care on seeing someone, not seeing some. Mm-hmm. We put too much care on labeling mm-hmm. things. Mm-hmm. Am I loved absolutely? Do I love absolutely? Mm-hmm. So you love. You and I am loved. Yeah. So in other words she's don't label market. don't label no what market <laughs> is I was never on the market if I was a bag I'll be an amiss I was never on the market <laughs> this is interesting okay so if you could uh, you know tell the 25 year old Makosi right something you know now mm-hmm. what would you say something that I know now and I I kept thinking about this on my flight here mm-hmm. You don't owe it to anybody to look rich. Mm-hmm. You owe it to yourself to secure your future financially by investing and saving today. Jokuti vanhu vazofunga kuti I am rich so I'm going to fly mm-hmm. first class, mm-hmm. I am rich so I'm going to drive this car, mm-hmm. I'm rich and you're not thinking about your old age. Mm-hmm. One thing that I'm thinking a lot about now is what will my life look like? when i'm 80 mm. 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 right yeah. will i be able the way i'm making money now will i be able to continue making money that way and yes. the answer is obviously no. no so where is the money going to come from yes. when i'm 80 yes. let's not be having children because we want to give birth to people who mm-hmm. are going to look after us mm-hmm. let's be having children because we want to propagate the human race mm, mm, not because tshada mm. kuchingetwa let's be like the jews yeah but not va singa di kuchingetwa never now never now you mm-hmm. understand mm-hmm. so if there is anything and i keep thinking about this could mm-hmm. if there is anything i could have been taught yeah. when i was younger mm-hmm. is you don't owe it to anybody mm-hmm. to look rich you owe it to yourself, yourself to yeah. secure your future financially that's powerful my 25 year old mazinza even my 35 even my 45 nyango bari pa 50 exactly manga shogwe a sho shona noti shogo arivi ku makozi adi adi ke shogo adi shogo arivi ku right so what has been your greatest lesson in life my greatest lesson in life my greatest uh, awareness let me say mm-hmm. in life is tiru pura mm-hmm. we are passing by wow and no matter no matter how many security guards you have at the gate right mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. no matter n- no matter the matter mm-hmm. and when you go you are not going to know yeah nobody is going to know that's deep. vice president we kumalawi ndege chiri kutsvaku Hey. president we could run mm. i'm using big figures because sometimes you will be thinking kuti um i'm invincible but life no matter how long you live is so short mm. 
we are already living eter in eternity. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's quite it's quite sad. Yeah. No, but you know, but that's when you go bow all. Do you know what that should do yeah. to you? It should make you live this moment mm -hmm. to the full. To the full, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. If in any mukandi pasadza, I said to my brother, and then they say ku garwe. Garwe, yes. Yeah. Sadza mrio nematum. Nothing else matters but that. <laughs> this moment, yeah. exactly. nothing else matters. When your wife sits in front of you, mm -hmm. don't be on the phone texting somebody mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. When your mm -hmm. husband sits in front of you, don't be on the phone gossiping about somebody yes. else. Yes. Your life, Ola, my life right now mm -hmm. is you. Yeah. Your life right now is me. Is you. So, live the moment mm -hmm. Knowing Kutipandaka Garana Ola, oh my God, yes. what a conversation. Yes. I'm going to be very honest with you. This has not been the most com comfortable conversation for mm. me. Mm. I don't mm. know how it looks. Yes. But it has not been the most comfortable conversation. Yes. I am confident, so it can mm. look confident. Yes. But it has not been the most comfortable. True. But I know I'm going to look back and be glad I did mm -hmm. it. Wow. This is amazing. Because I'm 100% here. 100%. Yeah. So are you happy with all the progress you have made in life. Absolutely. I'm so happy with where I am. I am also so happy. I'm excited about mm -hmm. the future. Mm -hmm. um, they say that wealth is not being on Forbes. Be, feeling wealthy is not about being on Forbes magazine. Yes. It's about knowing when is enough. Mm -hmm. It's about learning not to shift the mm -hmm. goalpost. Mm -hmm. So if you say to yourself, by the age of 40, I want to be a millionaire, yeah. and you're a millionaire at 40, and you now start thinking, ah, I'm not fulfilled, mm -hmm. then you you could easily be one of the poorest of poorest people. Mm. Because poverty and wealth are mindset yes. things. Yes. So have I achieved everything I want to achieve in life? Mm -hmm. Not yet. Yes. But have I achieved most of the things that I'm, am I happy with what I've achieved? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes. So when you face challenges, how do you take them on, you know, to make sure you overcome them? Wrong number. <laughs> As a wrong number. The buck stops mm -hmm. here. And mm -hmm. I did that with cancer. Yeah. I was like, you knocked on the wrong, wrong. door. Oh, whoa. Yeah. I am not going to hide. Mm -hmm. I am going to bust the myths about you. Mm -hmm. And after I am done, I'm uh -huh. going to make a lot of money. Yes. From going through what you made me go through. Ooh. Yeah. That's you know, the turning lemon into lemonade. Yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Bro, you know, I had a conference. One of my first conferences here in Zimbabwe mm -hmm. at Celebration yes. 2012 was yes. turning lemons to lemonade. Wow. Wrong number. Ah, Can I tell you a wrong number? Amazing. I got a Jackie Garden dance. Takachi Master. Takachi Master, you gave me, man. Takachi Master. I miss you, Jackie. <laughs> she called me some days. I go saying, Hola. I think we need to do it again. I said, yeah, why not? So every time I'm playing golf <laughs> and I hit the ball, I played today, yeah. and I hit the ball well, I always shout, Takachi Ta -ta -ta Master, Ta -ta 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 <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> nothing should, as a human spirit, uh -huh. nothing should intimidate you mm -hmm. because he mm -hmm. who is in, in you is mm -hmm. greater than he who is in the world. Yeah, very true. Yeah. So there are a lot of uh, you know, mental health issues nowadays. Mm -hmm. So what advice would you give someone in that situation right now? Is it conclude? Therapy. If you can get therapy, get therapy. Sometimes you can feel a certain way. Mm -hmm. And if language is added to your feeling, you mm -hmm. feel better. Mm -hmm. Let's say you start feeling unsettled. Mm -hmm. ah, sometimes I, I try to go to sleep. Hope at school, school yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I, I can just be sitting there and I can just be imagining that things are going to... If you go to a therapist and they say to you, mm. okay, you're going through something called anxiety. Mm -hmm. And this is what we do with anxiety. Once you put language to it... You can start dealing with it. When you're fighting with things that don't have language, mm -hmm. it's like you're fighting with a ghost. It's like a, you don't know where to punch. Mm -hmm. But a therapist can give language to mm -hmm. what you're going through. Mm -hmm. So don't go through it by yourself. Talk to somebody. And mental health, I think June is men's mental health month. Yes. And, you know, I feel for men. Mm -hmm. Why? Because up until now, so many organizations are based on the Girl child, mm -hmm. girl child, mm -hmm. girl child. What's happening with the boy child? Mm. Who is talking to the boy child? Who is feeding the boy child? Yeah. Who is telling the boy child, could you know what? It's okay to feel sad. Mm -hmm. 
It's okay sometimes to be depressed. Yeah. It's okay to be and it doesn't take away from your manhood. Mm, mm, mm. This world will make you feel all sorts of things. Very true. Gender put aside. Mm -hmm. And if you're a man, if we can find if we can create safe mm -hmm. spaces for women for men to have these conversations. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm going through. And even if you're married and you're a married man, wives be a safe space for your husband mm -hmm. don't be the person who doesn't listen yeah because you know women we talk a lot mm -hmm. if you've noticed i've yeah. done a lot of yeah. talking yeah women we talk a lot and when you're talking you're not listening mm -hmm. so sometimes men just want to be listened to yeah and if you're if you're going through any mental health issues i know how normal it is mm -hmm. for men to be going through uh, mental health issues talk to someone and therapy is the most masculine thing mm -hmm. you can do. And therapy sometimes is the best thing you can do for your family. Wow. It's the best thing you can do for yourself. Awesome. That's very powerful. Thank you so much, Marcus, for coming. But, you know, as we conclude, I would, I would, I would want to ask this question. Right. You know, what do you want to be remembered for? I just want to be remembered as that girl who shared her life with her world. Mm -hmm. That girl. Like, I, I, I don't just want to share my wins with you. Mm -hmm. I want to share my shame mm -hmm. with you, hoping you create the space for mm -hmm. me to mm -hmm. grow. Mm -hmm. I want to share my pain with you, hoping you can create a shoulder for me to cry on. I want to share my tears with you like what I did today. Wow. Hoping you can wipe them off. And I want to share my smile with you. Exactly. Hoping that <laughs> it makes you smile. Smile. That's very, <laughs> very powerful. That was uh, Makosi Sambasi here on the All of Seven Podcast show on the spot. I put Makosi on the spot. Yeah. And guess what? <laughs> I ended up being in a lecture. A sermon. I don't know what, what, it, what it was, but yeah, I've learned a lot. Uh, Makosi, this is the moment whereby you know, I give everyone uh, a chance, but I'm never sure mm -hmm. to express themselves. Mm -hmm. Probably like, okay, uh, when I get a chance, mm -hmm. I want mm -hmm. to say this, 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 this. Mm -hmm. I just want to share this with people. Mm -hmm. So this is your moment mm -hmm. as you, you know, giving us your parting remarks. Right. What is it that you want to say off script? Off script, uh, I hope, I, I was running on a treadmill mm -hmm. one day must have been like 10 years ago. And I just had the idea, 10 years ago, mm -hmm. I just had the idea that one day I will be Zimbabwe's first female president. Wow. That was 10 years ago. Yes. Now, 10 years later, mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to happen today. Uh -huh. It might not happen in the next 10 years. Yes. But you and me, mm -hmm. viewer. Yeah. And the way two or three are gathered. Exactly. Tika gather. Tika mm -hmm. namat. Yes. I would like to be your president. Wow, that's a very huge, big dream. Trust me. Wow, I can't wait Mac to, to see Makosi as our president. It can happen. Why not? Wow. But being a president, you know, it, it, I would love to tell my guts and also just be brave, you know, the courage, yeah, everything. You have to also, you have to be thick-skinned yes, as well. Yes, And you have to be humorous. If I want to laugh. Yes. And also learn. Mm -hmm. But if I want to laugh, mm -hmm. President Munangagwa is very funny guy. <laughs> if you listen to the speeches. Like, oh. But you can tell that he is a very smart mm -hmm. man. Yes. You can tell that, you know, you're not going to please everybody. Everybody, yeah. There are things that are going to work and mm -hmm. there are things that are not going to work. Yes. But I look at him and I'm thinking... Um, Dara, if you can do it one day, maybe, <laughs> maybe Ninda Ambuya, I can exactly, also do it. Yeah, you know, you can, you, you don't know. Like, yeah. um, there, there are no, if I'm talking to anyone out there, mm -hmm. girl or boy, nothing mm -hmm. should limit your dreams. That's very powerful. Thank you so much, Marcus, for coming. Thank I, you for having me. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Why? No, it was actually my pleasure. Did you I know? shock you? Oh, my guy. <laughs> you just giving me like shock after shock after shock. I'm like, okay. No, I think I think for me, I was looking forward to it. Yeah. I thought we were going to bake and talk. Yeah. But if we had baked and talked, I think uh, you know. Yeah. But I was looking forward to it because I look at it as service mm -hmm. um, to my nation. Yes. I look at it as service to anybody who's watching. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, 
this show is going to be watched by a plethora of people. Yes. yes. And some people are going to take what they want to mm, take. Mm, right? Mm, true. And Semuna Rudakuita Mtunga Mirena Nika one day, you have to be okay with everything what who takes exactly. you know so mm -hmm. um oh and by the way if we're still rolling i would love to meet the president of zimbabwe um if you're listening mr president i would like mm -hmm. to pay you a courtesy visit while some around yes um but ola what you're doing here yeah we need to talk yes off camera yes because i think whoa thank you i think whoa Thank you. Thank you, Makosi. Wakati nyangira. Do you understand? Because I, 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 I didn't know you would star FM. Yes. I did, you star, yeah. right? Yes, star Because I saw yeah. you with Comfort today. Yes, today. I yeah. visited yeah. So I saw you with Comfort today, and I, I didn't see you there. Mm -hmm. But when I now went back to all your interviews, because yes. I went back. Exactly. After yeah. Takura, uh -huh. I had to go and see Ndia. Ndia ni mwendia. Exactly. Because Takura and Dakamu wana pa ZFM. Oh, yes. Takura on Ola. Ola, exactly. Because who's Ola? Uh -huh. And then I went and I was like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> This is service to the nation. Wow. You know, England, the queen, knighthood uh -huh. to men and dame to women. Yes. Can I remember Zimbabwe, I think recognize mm -hmm. people who do things for the nation. Yes. Your name should be there. Wow, that's big. Thank you, Makosi. Nothing intimidates you as well. Yes. Which is amazing. Yeah. I have a question on a passion. Dagadi, all right now. Exactly. <laughs> you know? And your interviews are so you get hooked. Yes. Yeah. You're watching and yeah. it's so engaging. Yes. And, yes. and I can as an NLP practitioner, a life coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can see how different people will hear different things exactly which is still okay <laughs> because we hear conversations at our level 100 percent Exactly. You are going to hear the conversation yes. at your level yes. of engagement. Mm. And I think you do that on this show. Yeah. Now, Fritz, you did the whole um because I didn't know who Fritz was. <laughs> and you know, you that did the whole funny guy. He's funny. Yes. But Engage him at your level. Yeah, very true. You hear something. Very true. If you, everybody, like, yeah. you know, like my brother mm -hmm. has a two-year-old. Yes. She's two, right? Mm -hmm. He has a two-year-old. When I'm talking to the two-year-old, mm -hmm. I engage her at her level. Level, yes. When I'm talking to a 10-year-old, mm -hmm. I engage. So uh, what I like about this show is you, you bring out uh, um, a buffet yes. out of someone. Yes. And then... You know, exactly. Beautiful. I love it. Wow. I'm just humbled. We need to have this conversation. Very true. Really <laughs> Thank you so much. And I, my hope, sister Makosi. I, want, I want to see the president on this show. Definitely. Why not? I Guys, we are, we are wrapping up right now. Yes. Okay. She wants to be the next president or maybe future president. Yeah. Why not? Maybe not next. I I, oh. I don't know if I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I need to be mentored. That's oh, why. I, that's why I need to meet the president. Oh yes. I, I need <laughs> to be. Who my tips and knows? Who my sauce? Could he? I need to seriously. I want him to tell me. Could he, guy? How do you do it? Yes. Because we are all never gonna be happy. Because uh -huh. you uh -huh. come in, you see a beautiful airport, you see yes. beautiful roads. Yes. But yes. so I would like to. I would like to hear like how he does it exactly. and. Uh, you know, maybe no consider mm. dream yangu. Is it something that you know? Because you know, for me, since it's just a dream, mm -hmm. it does not have to happen by Guinea. Yeah, <laughs> that's by Guinea. <laughs> Do you understand? So right. it does not happen to have by Guinea. But I would like to be exposed to when it does happen. Mm -hmm. What does that look like? Exactly. You know, is it your excellency, your excellence on the exactly. other way? Will I be able to play golf? <laughs> of course. Can a connection here, a state house, near royal, ne royal exactly. and all of those things we need to check logistics. <laughs> <laughs> I just love this. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. What an inspiring show. Oh, uh, Nadina, my sister, yeah, I call it my sister, um, Makosim Sabasi. I'm sure you've learned one or two things from this conversation, and you know what. Eh, uh, we can post this program. I don't go to put a lecture, Jai Jai. 
so thank you so much for you know for coming makosi and also to our viewers thank you so much for watching until next time my name is dj ola 7 owen we kwa madondo signing out bye bye Every dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino induced drought together. Eco Cash, live life the Eco Cash way. Welcome to Wealth Bag Logistics Zimbabwe, your one-stop solution for all your freight forwarding, customs clearance, and warehousing needs. Whether you are importing or exporting goods, we are here to ensure a smooth and efficient process every step of the way. Our freight forwarding services are designed to take the hassle out of shipping your goods. We work with a network of trusted carriers to get your cargo to its destination on time and within budget. From air freight to sea freight, we handle it all with professionalism and care. When it comes to customs clearance, our team of experts will navigate the complex regulations and paperwork to ensure that your goods clear customs without any delays. We have extensive experience working with customs authorities and we'll ensure that all necessary documentation is in order. In addition to our freight forwarding and customs clearance services, we also offer secure warehousing solutions for your storage needs. Our state-of-the-art facilities are equipped to handle a wide range of goods and are suitable for short-term or long-term storage. At Wealthbag Logistics, we understand the importance of reliable and efficient logistics services for your business. That's why we strive to provide the highest level of service and communication to ensure that your goods reach their destination safely and on time. We look forward to partnering with you and providing the logistics solutions you need to keep your business running smoothly. Contact us today to discuss your freight forwarding, customs clearance and warehousing needs. It's the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy.